Hello everybody, this is our next class and our next meeting and I am very happy to be here. Uh, this is our guest, PhD on Cultural Studies, uh, Natalia Krawczyk. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Faculty of Arts, yes, and uh, where exactly are we here? Uh, right now we are in the painting atelier, painting yes. studio, so uh, students are training painting in here, so basically they uh, create images, they, they are taught how to uh, yeah, create a painting, so they have a space and uh, tools in order to so study, for example, still life, which is in front of us, but also um, they, they do drawings. So we could call it a class, but a kind of not regular class. No uh, desks, no chairs, but it's a kind of a place that they study, that they are studying, yes? Practice. Yes, exactly. Uh, we, we, uh, I mean, of course they study practice, but I think one should notice that, uh, for example, drawing or painting a still yes. life or drawing uh, from nature, drawing a model uh, is also kind of studying because one uh, has to be really focused and follow all the details yes. and lines presented in reality in order to uh, transfer it into a two-dimensional image. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would like to ask you a few questions about your history and about your story. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I am from Krapkowice. Uh, that's a small town 20 kilometers away from Opole. Okay, and uh, your primary school was in Krapkowice? Yes, my prim primary school was in Krapkowice, but then I was attending uh, art high school in Opole. Okay, and then after this high school you were a student? Yes, I was studying uh, art history uh, at uh, University, Wrocław, Univer University of Wrocław, but after one year I realized I really miss um, practicing art, so I decided to um, start another studies which were uh, arts yes and this is how i uh, came to this university of Opola and started my studies at that time it was a institute of art yes uh, right now we call it uh, a faculty, faculty. Yes. so it developed since that time uh, yeah and i made my master uh, degree of uh, arts in here Okay, but I wonder why this choice of Opole? You've got like the whole Poland, whole world to choose and you've chosen our university. Why? Uh, because be it was close to uh, Krapkowice? So no. like reality <laughs> choice? Not exactly, because I didn't manage to, to get to any other uh, uh, art academy as it is quite difficult to I mean at least at, at that time that was back in 2005 as far as I remember uh, so there were still a, lots of um, people who wanted to study arts uh, so art was then and still probably is a very popular study well, right now I don't think it's really popular. Okay, so it changed. Uh, uh, well, that's my impression, like uh, that the young people are more focused on uh, the, I would say, direct profits from uh, the studies. Yes. And maybe they are actually more aware. Uh, of the future. Of the future, exactly. Uh, so I think they are maybe a bit afraid of studying art because there is no promise of having a sure. job or something. At the end you finish as a freelancer. Um, so yeah, but um, 
turning back to your question, I didn't, I've, I've passed, I think, five exams and I wanted to study first in Łódź, then in Katowice, in Kraków, in Wrocław, but was never successful with that. Uh, so I decided to come here and it was easy to pass the exam. Oh! Uh, so I've made it, but uh, after all, I was very happy um, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from this, uh, uh, sorry, uh, because of this uh, choice, mm -hmm. because um, it was very friendly atmosphere in here, and I met a lot of uh, people who I'm, whom I knew before. Uh, so I think it was really good to study in here, and there is also I think much more freedom. Uh, comparing to because I compared myself to my other friends who are studying under art uh, academies, uh, so I really appreciate the studies okay. I had in here. Um, when you remember this time of being a student here, what are your memories? <laughs> my memories are <laughs> mostly about um, traveling from Wrocław to Opole because at that time I, w I was studying two faculties. Oh. Uh, so I was still doing my art history studies in Wrocław and then uh, arts in here. So I was Hard. constantly uh, on the travel. Um, yeah, and there was a lot of um, courses we had in here so w the, the program was pretty full uh, so I remember it was exhausting but it was also fun because okay. we spent a lot of time after the classes in so such there a was studio. some student <laughs> life <laughs> yeah exactly we were mostly um, uh, spending time together while working but it was a fun good so uh, positive memories Yes, really positive. Okay. Um, do you remember this moment when you uh, decided or maybe you found this need inside yourself that you want to be an artist, that this is the uh, path you want to follow in your life? Uh, Yes, uh, I think that happened when I decided to go to art high school um, because I started to learn drawing and painting and also art history when I was about to finish my primary school. Uh, and then I started the high school, which I really loved. It was a great place. I had many friends in there and mm -hmm. since that time I was like, with every year, I was even more convinced about being uh, an artist. Sorry to interrupt you. So this moment of choosing your high school uh, wasn't uh, yet uh, your destination like for life. Or was, or, or it was. Uh, well, or you were just, you know, like looking around. No, it, it, it was um, very conscious the uh, decision, decision yes. because it demanded a lot of preparation yeah. and it was not easy at that time to pass the exam. There were many uh, people uh, trying to get in there. Uh, so it was very conscious decision. However, I think that once you're 15 or something, you can't be really sure about what you want to do in your life. Yes. But after all, I was still... Um, uh, I was more and more convinced about that choice. As a child, uh, I imagine it that you were very into arts, was it? That you were drawing, that you were painting, or maybe it wasn't your like first choice? I think that uh, as a child I was drawing as much as any other okay. uh, uh, child. I don't think it was, uh, I was very um, talented or the was something uh, uh, special in mm -hmm. my life. Of course, I, I, I've done that and I was always encouraged by my uh, parents to be creative and to do that, but I don't think I was, I had any special okay. skills. So in that. there was no situation like that, that you're like three and you've made a, uh, a drawing and your parents Oh wow, she'll be an artist in the future. <laughs> well, I think they they might have said so, but um, I 
I think it was more because they would say whatever I would draw. Okay, at so it was uh, because of their love. Yeah, like they love. tried to be kind <laughs> okay. and uh, not too critical towards me. But Supportive. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I think I got more interest in art and drawing, maybe because right now I have a completely different idea about what art is. But at that time, I think my sister was really talented. Okay. Uh, and she's seven years older, so she used to make some beautiful drawings for me. Uh, and I kind of invite her this um, skill, so I decided to follow that okay. and to be even better. Is she also an artist? Uh, no, she's an architect right now. Okay, well, it comes along in a way. Yeah, um, one can find similarities. Yes. Uh, could you tell me w w how the real life of an artist looks like? I mean, like a whole life. Um, does it differ from a life of a, a person who's doing another profession, different profession? Lifestyle, maybe? This is the proper word? Well, I, uh, I think um, it depends on with whom we are comparing with. Okay. Uh, because, you know, I am, I'm sorry, I imagine that you just wake up and you have, you know, some kind of a feeling, oh, I have to paint something. Uh, and is it really like that? Uh, Yes, well, in a way, yes. I think uh, as I observe my friends who are artists as well, because it, it's very difficult profession as you are usually working as a freelancer, so you don't have any stable incomes uh, and basically no stability you at all. You started with the negatives. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I think it's, it, 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 it's also... Um, a good side of it because then you're more free and you can move around and uh, and you're some kind of pushed to do something to be creative does it work like that i think it's more like there is some kind of i don't know whether this word exists in english imperative mm -hmm. like something that um, as you said, there is a deep need of doing something yes. and you can't resist uh, this is how it works i mean in the, any kind of art. I don't know if it works for everyone, but at least uh, I observe it among my friends. Okay. Uh, it usually works like that, especially um, um, when you have really active, productive, let's say, artists. Mm -hmm. It's because they cannot stop. Um, yeah. Is it that you are uh, some kind born with it? being an artist, having this need uh, of being surrounded with arts, uh, doing arts, um, having friends who are interested in it? I don't think it's an innate uh, uh, ability. I think it's something we got with uh, education. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, some people has more needs uh, to be surrounded by let's say, aesthetic objects, uh, but I think it's really about education. So aesthetics is something that we can learn and uh, we can understand or distinguish things that are better designed or uh, at some point, I cannot explain it. Okay. So this is uh, what we are teaching students in here, but it's not really verbal. Uh, yeah. thing. So you need to see a lot of things and after some time when you watch images, uh, designs, uh, um, photography, sculptures and, and so on, basically uh, art, um, p um, artworks, then at some point you establish something we would call a taste. Yes. But it's not innate, uh, not at all. It's something you need to learn, but you learn by watching. But it, does it consider only arts or is it just uh, about your whole life? Because I imagine that uh, artists see life in general 
from a bit different perspective. Of course, all of us, you know, wake up, have breakfast and go doing shopping. And, uh, but I don't mean that. I mean that you see the world in a bit different way than, let's say, a regular person. Is it like that? Probably yes, uh, as I think that a starting art is mostly about um, perception. So, uh, I mean, you can learn how to draw properly or create beautiful things, but that's not the point. Uh, the point is to be um, able to change perspective and to understand uh, your point of view and to work with uh, perception, to understand uh, that what you see is very uh, individual thing mm -hmm. and then your task is to share your point of view. Okay. Uh, so you need to, in a way, communicate the way you see uh, the reality, which is something that I assume people don't consider that much in their daily life. For they sure. just follow their duties yes. and don't think that much uh, about the way they see the world. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that uh, being an artist is not a profitable profession. Uh, so maybe uh, art studies are not that much popular right now, but do you mean that being an artist is being a poor person? I mean, you know, that you have mm -hmm. no money and you... Uh, yeah, that you're poor. Exactly. Yeah, quite often, yes. <laughs> quite often, yes. I thought that the answer would be different. <laughs> quite often, uh, uh, it is like that. You basically don't have much money. And you, the problem is also that you... Uh, um, I mean, it's changing and I think um, institutions and artists associations are working on that, but uh, the situation is difficult because um, doing art is not generally recognized or at least perceived as a profession. Yes. Most people but find it's it as a... a stereotype, I think. Yes, but it's working, I mean, according to, to law, for example, and the social, uh, um, how does it call, um, support. Yes. Uh, then it's hard to, because as you work as a freelancer, at the end you, f you finish with, with nothing. With nothing. You're 75 years old You're uh, and you're not retired. You don't yes. have any money because whatever you've done throughout All the life um, is perceived as doing passion or yes, hobby. It's not considered as a job. As a job or as a uh, productive uh, occupation. Yes. Uh, so that's the problem which uh, results uh, um, in reality, I mm -hmm. mean, um, but I think it's in transition and uh, people, um, I mean, artists associations and people related to art are trying to change this stereotype. Uh, what is... Uh, but just to say something yes. uh, positive, of course, uh, it's not necessarily like that because, of course, I know artists who... Uh, are very successful, probably. Uh, well, I, I don't think that success means having money. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, who uh, get... Who, can, who, are, who are selling their art and uh, they conduct really comfortable life uh, mm -hmm. of making art. But uh, uh, I think it's not the point for many artists, uh, it's not the first, of course money are important always, but it's not the first thing they want to achieve. Um, and it's not the measure of success because you may be a really well-known artist if you would for example check the polish art scene uh, most of the artists like really uh, well-known artists are not very um, rich people yes but they are uh, considered to be very influential people yes. um, so maybe and That's they are the well goal. recognized, sometimes even all over the world, yes? Yes, exactly. Okay, um, another question is, uh, oh, I was wondering, what is the role of art today? <sighs> A difficult one. 
Yeah, and I think um, art has many roles. Mm -hmm. um, in, wow, I would have to think about it. Uh, but because it's, it is uh, not that you just enjoy the view, yes? Of course, it's a part of it, uh, especially the arts you are creating, uh, because it's to be watched, yes? Mm -hmm. Uh, but um, the why? Because in this world uh, uh, now, I consider of being fast, and people are like moving from one point to another on their um, like to do list. And where is this place? Why should there be a little space for art in our life? Why should we see it? Why should we be? inside of it for some time? Well, I think uh, art has many roles, but some of them uh, can be more important at some point. Uh, so definite, definitely one of the uh, role of art is to support society or to reflect um, reality. Yes. Uh, so people can be more aware what is happening or at least to create some kind of space or give a pretext to discuss about the problems. Uh, so just to give an example, I think one of the most um, uh, uh, critical problem right now is climate crisis, let's yes. say. And that's the topic which is um, very widely discussed in the field of art. There are many artists engaged in ecological activities and by their works, by their um, uh, performances and uh, basically whatever they do, they try to um, create a, a discussion on what is happening, uh, um, um, uh, what is happening right now, and how can we prevent it, yes. or what can we do? Uh, sometimes they are a, because they are uh, artists are quite often um, people who are a bit on the margin of society. Yes. Uh, so from one hand, they are maybe poor, maybe not recognized as a real working class, but from the other hand, they have much more freedom. Uh, and because art has no limits, not, they, uh, it, has, it doesn't have real frames, um, like you're not limited with some rules or something, then artists are able to get closer to some problems and speak about them loud, sometimes, you know, going through many taboos. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and break them. Yeah, and breaking them, crushing them, uh, uh, actually. Uh, so I think um, what's the role? Uh, just to open discussion, to allow people uh, to see the problem, but also to maybe um, Educate. think more. So uh, uh, what uh, you are saying right now, I consider it that art can also, well, from a joyful thing, yes, it also can be a kind of education um, or, or maybe uh, shaping our consciousness of a problem. Uh, yes, but uh, I, I wouldn't agree <laughs> exactly because I, I kind of dislike this wor uh, word education as I think it's kind of... Um, uh, way of transmitting the knowledge yes. <laughs> uh, uh, in a very direct way and once we're meeting with art or uh, artworks uh, it's never obvious so I don't mean uh, artists they don't make clear statements sure. it, it always of course they want to they have some intentions they mm -hmm. want to say something but it always depends on us as a recipients how will we interpret and yes. what will we get from it there is there is never uh, just a one way of understanding it mm -hmm. so it's just like a starting point they they show there is a problem or they think about something we can always join their um, perspective but we may also disagree we can just start discussing and thinking about it and in a way negotiate uh, how 
we should see the problem in general. This is fantastic about arts because it's uh, very wide, yes, and any uh, uh, other different person may see something else, may find something else inside. Um, I wanted to also ask you about uh, your students. How are they doing? Because the, uh, I imagine also, uh, again, is a kind of, you know, my imagination from an American movie <laughs> that they come here and they are creative, they are uh, full of, you know, many different ideas, they are dirty with paint and uh, that's the way they are studying arts. Is it like, does it look like that? Uh. Well, I think it depends on uh, student again. Of course, uh, some uh, classes might be really dirty, especially when they uh, doing sculpture and they mm -hmm. deal with clay mm -hmm. um, or in printing graphics, definitely there's a lot of dirt. But uh, I think um, it really depends on personality as you can find uh, students uh, and artists who are uh, really into dirtiness, but <laughs> also uh, those who are really tired and um, some kind of organized. Yeah, organized it. and uh, even how to say, I forgot the word. Uh, yeah, like they, 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 they prefer to stay clean. Um, they, they work w with very clean tools and the um, they process is more conceptual than expressive. And so they just don't throw paint out of the um, uh, can. They just go with very tiny brushes. And okay. Uh, uh, another a bit different question. Uh, how should we uh, the word that you don't like actually, educate small children, so the um, generations that are uh, coming to see and to find arts being uh, important in our life, in their lives, in the future. Uh, do you think that uh, coming uh, with uh, a child or uh, as, a, for example, a trip from the kindergarten or a school to art gallery is a good way of spending your time, uh, their time actually, showing them how the arts uh, are being created, how uh, you work. What, because, you know, uh, what I mean exactly is that this, uh, this life is being faster. Every other generation is coming, we live uh, from point to point, yes? Uh, and there is no special time for this kind of uh, spending free time, yes? You go to uh, ride a bike, for example, uh, or watch TV, and we could, for example, go to art gallery instead of watching TV. Is it a good idea? Yes, <laughs> but you don't like this kind of edu well education no, in general. No, I think uh, just to refer because I had so many considerations about. I already started to analyzing what you have uh, said. So first of all, uh, uh, according to children, uh, I don't think they need any special uh, education in art as they are. Uh, I mean, of course, going to gallery, to museums, meeting with art uh, is always great and fantastic for them. And uh, because they are not really educated, so not totally shaped, yes. they have absolutely no problem with art. And they are very enthusiastic towards yeah. uh, art. I've been participating many times in guided tours, uh, tours with, with kids and because uh, uh, they didn't start the real process of education, so uh, they don't have this kind of uh, things that are closing them. Yes. They are totally open. So they like enjoy. Their own mind, yes. Yeah, exactly. They they are totally open. They enjoy it. They uh, find and they express it. it. And they find a lot of associations. They can explain you uh, every piece of art. They they're not afraid of it. So uh, from my observation, something is happening later on. Okay. Uh, I don't know uh, whether it is psychological thing or uh, uh, 
societal, social thing mm -hmm. that happens to, to them or something related to education that uh, you have six year old uh, child and you can communicate with with that person about art and it's really like flowing Flows, yes. uh, but then you receive someone who's 15 and or even students they they cannot say anything they're completely uh, um, uh, like uh, stepping back or yes. I don't know how to express it uh, properly so I think something is happening in the process of uh, education mm -hmm. but also to refer about what you're saying this fast life I think um, it, it, it's also a choice so how do we want to live do I want to run like a rat yes. or do I want to spend my life uh, in, in more um, feeling this life yes yeah, and to think and uh, uh, consider the reality. So that's something we should choose. Do I think about what is happening or do I just run? Okay, and my last question, I have to ask you about that as an English teacher. What's your education of the language? Because you, you're, the way you talk, the way you speak, the way you express your thoughts in English, it's wow. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Are you surprised? Um, well, <laughs> I find you as a very enthusiastic and kind person, so I'm, no, I'm not really it's not surprised. Being kind. <laughs> uh, and uh, of course, I, uh, I would disagree with you, uh, as I find my um, language, uh, language skills very limited. So uh, you are too judgmental. Uh, but. And I think it's also because of my education that I didn't really receive well uh, um, education in English uh, at school. So I was mostly learning by myself and also because I was traveling. Uh, so whenever you go abroad and stay there for a longer time and you need to use the language. Uh, in it, life. It gets, yeah, it, it gets better, but... Uh, yeah, I, I think there's still a lot, of, a lot to do with that. Well, always, <laughs> always. Um, thank you very much for this meeting. It was, uh, it was really nice, first of all. And the other thing, I found many... You've educated me, in a way. <laughs> thank uh, you very wasn't, much. It wasn't my aim. <laughs> I know. Thank you very much, and it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>